I so, think there's uh, <laughs> no better time than to go into game two, I believe. Game three. Well, it'll be game three, but game two on the replay. Yeah. Because we didn't get the team melee. Yeah, that's true. So uh, with that, let's uh, once again introduce ourselves. I'm uh, Korean Usher, uh, team on Twitch, and Quick Striker on Team Liquid. And we have and our I'm, fellow. Uh, yep. I'm Kix on Team Liquid and Kix SD on Twitch. Okay. And we are currently casting Wookie Team League Week One, and now we're going for Game Three. Um, Kix versus. Um, uh, Caden Z. Caden Z. Thank you for that. And with that, we will be playing on Sniper Ridge. And let's do a. You want to do a countdown this time? Okay. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. And I'll start off the uh, the announcement with the, the players. So on the bottom left, bottom left, at the seven o'clock position, we have Caden Z, the Zerg, uh, representing the Secret Form alumni. No, 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 the he, Holy Wheel Battle Alliance. I'm, I'm, I, am, I do apologize. I, I get the team mixed up. And, and you, you also probably did this the wrong way because now I have to introduce myself. Yes, uh, I know. I I, this is actually, actually intentional. The orange Terran, uh, which is the best Terran yeah. color. In the two o'clock position, uh, I am Kix, or I was Kix. I still am, I guess. And uh, I was uh, representing the secret forum Illuminati. We're mm -hmm. currently down naught two, and this was the game I needed to bring. Um, I needed to bring it for pride. Need to bring it home. Made sure we won and stayed alive in the series. So mm -hmm. no pressure on myself in the past. Yeah, no, no pressure for the the past kicks here. The future kicks. Um knows what the 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 past kicks does but cannot really reveal so you probably will be over your heads constantly multiple times during this this cast i'm sure honestly i play so many games i've actually forgotten what i did this game so that's my excuse okay all right we do have a overlord uh first overlord going towards the 10 o'clock position and the second overlord going towards the the bottom right for five o'clock position and then the drone he's actually sending out the drone also to scout as well just to see where the terran is yeah he wants to find out where i am as soon as possible uh mm -hmm. he is going cross spawns with his drone the quicker he gets her the quicker information he gets and you see the scv yeah. and the drone just just uh passing each yeah, other they, through. Uh, mm -hmm. they had a handshake there i'm not sure it doesn't look like past kicks actually noticed that because mm -hmm. he is still scouting the bottom right whereas due to the angle the drone was coming at he should have noticed that that was actually coming from the cross position but uh he will scout him second so it's not completely terrible um it could be bad but i mean they are on diagonals so unless he for some reason decides to go into the top left he should actually find out that this was an early hatchery pretty fast the spawning pool is coming up uh, he did actually go, I believe, 12 patch into the pool. He, he did go yeah, 12 patch. The, there's no gas yet, and it looks like um, Kix has actually got his gas, so maybe not going for the most standard uh, mm -hmm. Terran opening, which is plus one five racks, because he is mining that gas already before even an expansion. And there is a drone at the natural just standing there and just saw the SCV, but he's still standing there because he's going for the third hatch on the natural. Yeah, so that's a three hatchery build. Um, more recently, it seems two hatchery builds are quite popular, especially on um, in the Korean leagues and things, mm -hmm. and on streams. But three hatchery builds are still good. They are arguably more economical. Um, you can go three hatch meter or three hatch hydra. Both of them really work. He's not playing super greedy. If he was playing any greedier, he could have actually put his third hatch on a um, on a third base. Mm -hmm. But unlike against Protoss, it's a little bit more dangerous to do that against Terran. Because if past kicks was actually doing something like a an eight racks, while well, he would have mm -hmm. scouted it by now, and he knows that's not happening, are you uh, going that can to actually punish greed like that? Are you going to constantly refer yourself as past kicks? I could do. It depends. Depends. We'll see about that. The one thing I noticed is that for the Terran, um, it could go for an early bunker rush, marine rush, if the position was not diagonal, because that takes much longer than going from top to bottom or, or left to right. So, 
I suppose that is uh, a bit of uh, that's that's what a lot of Korean players are doing nowadays. Um, and have been doing a lot of days in a four-player map when the two players are basically uh, top to bottom or, or or left to right. A virtual is up, going towards the natural. Uh, is mine happening? No, there's no mines yet. Made a virtual without the yeah, machine so shot. He's got his Vulture, he's building a starport as well. Uh, he's not actually got his command center building yet, so we could mm -hmm. see either some dropship play, he may go into a race, he may even go into two port. I mean, for two port, this would be quite late. Uh, he would actually have a second starport building, but he is, in fact, going to go for a second Vulture. More than likely, it looks like he's saving up for a command center before he gets mines, which does put them to be a little bit late. The Vulture can't actually do anything because when the factory was scouted by, uh, when the gas was scouted by the drone earlier, uh, to be safe, Cadence he actually put up a sunken. Uh, that is pretty standard anyway, but against the Vulture, it basically means that um, Kix can't actually get in there with anything to do any damage. Yep. And a Hydra is up, and I believe that is for the Lurker. No, he's actually, yeah, no, he's going for a, a fast Hydra upgrade right now for the Zerg. Yeah, so upon scouting the factory, it's quite standard to think that either there's going to be some kind of faint mech or mech opening coming, mm -hmm. and early Hydras are actually really useful against mech. Um, you can't really get too much done. Oh, this is very nice. Early on. At 6 o'clock position, we see an SCV repairing the Vulture, the damage Vulture from the Salkins Salk earlier. That's something you usually don't see. Yeah, and there's also a race going into the base. Mm -hmm. Not only will this act as a scout, he may do a little bit of damage here with it. Uh, he will take a few pot shots at the, uh, at the drones. They are paper planes, so they don't do too much damage. It actually takes about six or seven shots, I believe. Ooh. He does get that one drone, but he does see the Hydralisks, and he mm -hmm. sees Hydra speed. Uh, the, the other Hydras may actually catch a beast. So he gets away just about. So uh, he will save that race for now. But he does see and... the layer that's happening at the natural, not at the main. He does see the Hydro Tech, um, and that could be a um, a success uh, for that wave. It was a good investment, I would say. Yeah, so it, it's a good scout that he got mm -hmm. there, because he did see the layer. He didn't see a Spire going up, which by the time his race got there, he would have more than likely seen, as his race was pretty late getting into the base anyway, and he did stop shortly to kill a drone so um he knows that he doesn't need to worry too much about turrets at the moment he does have his engineering bay up but um he knows that at least for the for the time being he won't need to spend any minerals on turrets it, he's actually getting up a bunker as well to stick his few marines in uh, just so he can be a little bit uh safer against a possible lurker build but right uh and just some turrets are going up in the and the natural just in case the Zerg decides to go for a Overlord drop tech. Yeah, so against a, against a mech opening, uh, drop tech is actually pretty useful as well. Mm -hmm. So Kix does need to be very careful. It looks like he's got his Wraith actually patrolling in the top right, which is incredibly close to an Overlord that he hasn't seen. So he's actually going to miss out on a free Overlord kill. He's. I th it looks like a Vulture actually killed a drone in the bottom right that was going bottom to right. expand. Uh -huh. Uh, the Vulture has got one kill and there was a little bit of blood on the floor. Right. So. And the SCV at the 6 o'clock position is going to go down. Um, oh wow, I just have a big hosting on Twitch. Thank you for the host. Um, we have Korean viewers and English viewers happening right now, but we are currently casting in English. And right now we're currently doing a Wookie, Wookie, team, Wookie team League Week 1 cast between the, the teams of with the Team Liquid Community. Alliance and the mm -hmm. Secret Forum Illuminati. Yep, and we have a lot of Hydrolix going in uh, with tw this 29 Hydrolix according to the count I see here. And they're going in uh, near the Terran Natural, but not yet. This yeah, so they're, they're sort of moving around the map. He used it mm -hmm. to clean up the SCV down the bottom. He's probably going to check for any mines on the possible expansion locations. He's but there are no mines right now. Yeah, He's, uh, he's got, if anything, it wouldn't really matter at the moment, but he's got his Overlord over the over the base checking that there's definitely no mines, right. so he's just going to regroup his Hydras. Back in Kix's base, we actually see that he's added on four extra barracks, so it looks oh. like he's gone for a more fake mech style, so rather fake than mech. going directly into mech, 
Uh, he's actually decided to add on a little bit bio. Uh, this is a build that Fancy used quite a lot. I think Oof was the original designer of the build. It doesn't look like Kix is executed very well, because his barracks are actually quite late, and he doesn't have an academy yet. And if you're going into bio, the most important upgrade is Stim. And against Stim, uh, with Stim and range against Hydralisks, Marines and Medics can absolutely melt it with tank support. And tanks is something that Kix has definitely got. He's had Siege for a while. Oh, and, this is uh, pretty good right now. The Rays has taken down a Overlord, and, and it's constantly uh, giving a Zerg a headache in terms of... of, of yeah, I mean, it's a... Uh, yeah. It's only got two kills, but it has but the built a lot. has been on the move all the map right now. Yeah. It just, it just keeps um, the Zerg sort sure. of a little bit safer. He doesn't want to leave anything undefended. I mean, it's only one race and they don't do too much damage. Mm -hmm. But eventually, if you let yourself lose a lot of... Um, if you let yourself lose a lot of Overlords, it's incredibly frustrating. That Raves is trapped! <laughs> Literally trapped, because Hydralists are smelting everywhere, both left and right. Yeah, I think if there was an Overlord there, those mm. Hydras on the left would No, 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 it. it had an Overlord, it didn't do anything, so... So basically, that wave, just the presence of it, is giving a headache, and the Hydras go in towards the third, taking down the two yeah. tanks, and has access to take down the command center, or cancel the command, force the tank yeah, so to cancel Yeah, so that it. was actually a really huge mistake by Kinks there, because he mm -hmm. actually moved his tanks up, which was the vast majority of his army, without any support, right. not scanning ahead to see where the Hydralists were. He doesn't have mines. I'm not even sure if he's got them up, um, upgraded yet. He's supposed to have really got those. He does have three Valkyries, which does take out one of the Overlords. He's probably going to fly around and try and kill some more. Uh, Hydralists don't do too much damage against Valkyries, so... The only, the only uh, thing I, mean, I also Valkyries noticed down, but... is that the uh, Zerg ha currently has one attack, uh, whereas the Terran does not have any attacks, any upgrades at all. So that could yeah, be so huge. It looks like this, this is going to be very problematic. Kicks look like he tried to once again go forward without actually scanning ahead. A lot of the Hydralists are dying, but a lot of them Kix is very fragile. That is a lot of Hydralists. Yeah, that's a lot of Hydralists that are pushing into the, um, pushing into the natural. Kix is actually going to pull his SUVs, but it's too little and a little bit too late as well, because the SUVs are just going to die without any support. And there are a little, um, train of Hydralists coming from the third base. Oh, well, I say a little train, but it looks like the Hydralists that were back defending against the Wraith. We do have four Valkyries just going in, but but that that may be too late because more Hydralists are coming in. There's more reinforcements. Yeah, and... they're actually they're flying over the Hydralists at the moment. He is going to probably try and take out some, some Overlords, but back at the ramp of the natural kicks, it looks like he's going to try and hold the ramp with whatever he has. Uh, Kix is actually a big fantasy fan, so there could be a fantasy booby here because he is on one base. He's trying to keep the ramp alive with just one SCV and two medics healing it, which is actually doing an insane job. But he seems to tank a little bit too far forward. Right. But this high ground was good until. Only... Uh... Yeah, there's only actually three marines on top of the ramp. He's trying to build four at a time, but the hydros are on top of his production now. Uh, the tank's gonna pop out on completely the wrong side. It looks like his SCVs are actually trapped when you look up by his command center, they can't actually get out to even help defend. So he's in a very, very bad position. He's losing his he's losing his barracks, which is the main source of production right now. He does have some Valkyries still. They're still flying around trying to kill some overlords. It looks like he's got about four overall. That Wraith is still alive, but there's uh, there's Hydra's defending against it. Kick's in a very bad position here. His other tank just died immediately after it popped out because his production facilities are completely camped. He still has SCVs that are still very confused on what they're doing. They're trying to push out to defend them, defend the uh center here, but these SCVs are not gonna do enough against the plus one hydralists. Yeah, so there, is is there how many SCVs are left? There's currently eleven SCVs left. They managed to take out some of the hydralists by the power of the SCVs grouping up, but is it enough to take down all these Hydralisks that's constantly coming in? Comes constantly coming in from the, the middle base. Uh, yeah, this, it this looks constant... like um, Cadency is actually doing a good job here, just to make sure he's not missed any hidden bases or anything. He's actually sending his Hydralisks around the map. 
probably wondering why this Kix guy hasn't left the game yet. Kix does actually still have minerals, and he still has a star port. A Valkyrie actually could pop out, which is completely the wrong choice if it can't shoot down. And GG There's the GG! Oh, man! Yeah, so uh, it looks like the buildings weren't, the buildings weren't floating, mm -hmm. but that was most certainly a fantasy mm -hmm. GG there. There was 1.2k minerals bank, so if by some miracle all of the uh, all of the hydralists actually committed or didn't commit, but they suddenly spontaneously combusted, uh, perhaps if this was one of those weird Korean UM, uh, mm -hmm. UMS maps where units randomly die, uh, Kix could have come back in with that. But uh, yeah, he certainly stayed in a little bit longer than maybe he he could have. Yes, and I was told that Kix favorite Terran of all time, or favorite player of all time, is Fantasy. So, in some sense, this was very uh, iconic uh, when it comes to uh, not giving up to the very last SCV. Until you don't have a CC or minerals to build an SCV, the game's still going. That's all I've got to say. So with that, that makes